We'll go to the next question, which is question number uh, uh, four. And here it says that uh, AB and AD. These are uh, these are the smallest and the longest side of a quadrilateral. Now we are talking about quadrilateral, even though without going. So a quadrilateral is something which has how many sides? One, two, three, four. So this you will you will know. Now now this is a little bit bigger. Okay, let's draw. Why should we not uh, follow this thing? Okay, let's go up to this and then let us join this. Okay, now. Okay, let's first do the nomenclature. This is A, B, C, and D. What is given? It is given that AB is the smallest. AB is the smallest. And CD is the largest. Okay, what do I have to do? So this is given. And what I have to prove? Show that So that angle A is greater than angle C, is greater than angle C, and angle B is greater than angle D. This I have to show. So what do I do? First of all, I join the A to C. Okay. I will take up first this one, A and C. So that's why I have joined A and C. So this, I, number one, I am taking up first. Okay? So that's why I have joined A and C. Since this is the smallest side of all the sides of, a quad, of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D, I can always say angle C, opposite to this is angle C, Angle C, or I will do it other way. Angle C is less than, here what is angle A? Because I don't want angle B. I want angle A is less than angle A. Or, or let me write down, or angle A is greater than angle C. Okay? Because I have to anyway prove here. Okay. So I have taken care of this particular triangle ABC. So in triangle in triangle, uh, let me write down ABC. ABC AB or side AB side AB is less than less than all the other two sides okay i have written it like this so side ab is less than all the other two sides because it's given, it's given 1 and 2. Okay, now come to, let us come to triangle D, A, C. So if you come to triangle D, A, C, it's given, given that, what is given? Side D, C is greater than all the, not all the, all the, uh, all the other two sides, other two sides, okay? So this is, this we have done. So if this is then, therefore, angle C, A should be greater than angle C. Okay? 
So this angle will be greater than angle C. Now let us add up these two. Let us add up these two. Okay. Now I must say that here also I must use the notations. Otherwise it is divided into two. So let me put up the rotation. One, two, three, four, five and six. Otherwise there will be confusion. So here then or angle A is greater than angle C. Here angle one, angle one is greater than greater than angle three. Okay, this remember here from the triangle. From which triangle? ABC. Now from other side angle ADC. So this is part of this thing. Okay, this is part of here. Sorry, this is little bit, I don't want to create a confusion. So let us say this is, this is same as this one. It comes from here to here. Okay, so all other, so here angle 1, this is, is angle 5, is greater than angle 4. Okay, because it has given the total thing, so the angle a means the whole angle here. So this was, this is angle A and this is angle C. So if I add this together, so this is 1 and this is 2. So add 1 and 2, I need space, add, add 1 and 2. So I get angle 1 plus angle 5, angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 5 is great, not equal to, is greater than angle uh, uh, 3 plus 4, angle 3 plus angle 4. Okay, what is angle 1 and 2? Here, here, Angle A is equal to angle 1 and 5 and angle C is equal to angle 3 and plus angle 4. So that means 1 and 5 is angle 4. Therefore, angle A is greater than angle, angle C. This is done. This is done. 1. One to show this is done. Understand? All I have, I should have done it. Because I was trying to save a little bit of time and space. Now I have to prove angle B and D. So that means I need this angle and this angle. So I will really erase the whole of this part. Because they are of, uh, 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 they are of, will be used. But I will have to use it in a different way. Okay, now let us see how I have to use it. The, I will leave the main this thing. I don't want to erase the whole part of it because that will not serve any purpose and you will not be able to find out the connections. Okay, this is C and this is A and this thing, the six I let it remain there. And I will now join, you have to join B and D. Okay. Now this is not a very good line. Uh, it doesn't give me a satisfaction. So here is the line. I will use it for the set, uh, this thing, uh, for, for the purpose of, uh, of making it. Okay. So this will go here. This will go here and this will be joined here. Okay, so and I will. Uh, now we are going to prove the second part of it that angle B is greater than angle D. So I have joined angle B and D together and now I will consider first this triangle. Okay. So in this triangle, again the nomenclature, let us go through that. 
This is one. This is angle two. This is angle three. This is angle four. This is angle five. This is angle six. Okay. So here angle B is equal to angle A plus angle two, and angle D is equal to angle five plus angle four. And we are first going to uh, talk about this particular triangle. Okay, this particular triangle. What is that triangle? That is triangle B A B. Okay, and in angle D, it is given. It is uh, okay. I have erased also the given one. Let us reintroduce them. So, what is given? AB is the smallest, and uh, CD is it like it like CD is the largest. Okay, so here in triangle DAB. AB would be smaller than less than what is the triangle would be here i have to say ad so less than ad i have taken i am interested in d so that means angle 5 which is opposite to angle this thing it be less than ad what is ad ad is angle B that is less than angle one. This is now because angle opposite opposite to larger side opposite to larger side. This I have taken care of. Okay. Next, I will go to this triangle. It is only the to do between one and number uh, one and two is is how you apportionate this quadrilateral into different triangle. Again, here here CD is the largest. No, I I didn't write that. Okay, that will be wrong. Which CD? Why? Which triangle? So he, now, so I have to try in triangle DBC DBC DC DC is greater than opposite to this what? BC. Okay. Now, if BC is greater than this is opposite to this is angle two, which is greater than BC. That is opposite is angle four. Okay. Right. Again, the same thing. Angle. Angles. Opposite to. Two larger side. Okay. Now I have got one, and as this is two. Okay. Now. Okay. I, if I add this, I get angle. Uh, Angle one plus two, so I will do it this way. So continuing. So if I add one and two, this is one. This is one and two. If so, add add one and two, one and two. Then we have a five plus four. Five plus four would be less than 
less than angle 1, angle 5, angle 4 plus angle 1 and angle 2. That is angle 5 and 4 is D. D is less than angle B. Or B is greater than or angle B is greater than angle D. You can write the both the ways. Okay. So this question is now over taking into both the sides. Thank you. This is uh, uh, question number five and uh, exercise exercise 7.4 it talks about a it gives a triangle gives a triangle P Q R and we have a one this PS bisects uh, uh, this angle P so it says given what is given given is uh, P R is greater than P Q P R is greater than P Q P S bisects angle Q P R so let's let's do the this thing as we do one two three four five and six sorry not five there five here five it will be continuous five and six here so and it's given angle one equal to angle six what we have to prove we have to prove that angle two prove so don't worry some cases it is saying prove and some cases it is showing show so whether it is prove or show should not con confuse you so it say it's saying uh, to show that angle PSR PSR is greater than PSR uh, to prove or uh, uh, to show so that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ which is indicated PSR means PSR means angle 4 should be greater than angle 3. Okay, now we will start from here. If PR is greater than PQ, that means PR is greater than PQ. Therefore, angle 2 should be greater than angle 5. Okay, so angle 2, therefore, angle 2 should be greater than angle 5. Okay, now what I do, in case of angle 2, I add, I add, add, add angle 2 plus angle 1. That should be greater than angle 5 plus angle 6. Why? Uh, than angle 6. Now why? Why? Because because angle 1 is equal to angle 6. So adding equal things on both sides should not change the characteristics of this thing. Uh, uh, so because angle 1 equal to angle 6. Uh, uh, now angle 2 plus angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Angle 2 plus angle 1 equal to angle 4. Uh, because because angle 4 is exterior angle exterior angle uh, to triangle triangle P P Q S okay to triangle P Q S 
also also angle uh, 5 plus 6 5 plus 6 5 plus 6 will be equal to angle 3 again because again because because angle 3 is an is an an exterior angle exterior angle exterior angle to to triangle now this is pqs this should be p r s okay now this is this now let us come here and it will be easy to do it 2 plus this is angle 4 now would be greater than angle 3 angle 4 would be greater than angle 3 what is angle 4 what is angle 4 therefore angle PSR PSR is greater than angle P S Q. So this is straightforward and easy and is very interesting this addition. This addition is very interesting. This make the whole thing compact and easy and elegant. So I think it should be we should be able to understand it very well. Okay. Oh, this is the last question on this exercise and this is a very interesting question. We have used this one quite frequently that all line segments drawn from a given that all line segments drawn from a given point. So this let's take it this is a line segment. No, this is a uh, Achha, uh, the perpendicular line segment is the shortest. So let us take a point P. Okay, this one, let us call this one, is the perpendicular. And let us take a few line segments like this. Uh, let's, instead of N, let me call it Q. It becomes easy. And we take another line segment here. And we also take the other other line segment here let us take this one n1 one, n2 and this is n3 so this is a line let us call it line l so i have a line l on which from a point p I have drawn line segment and that uh, this is perpendicular that means this angle is 90 so this is 90 degree so the 90 degree is given so as we have proven in first question remember first question the hypotenuse is the longest side okay that was our question number one refer question number one what did we prove? We proved that hypotenuse, hypotenuse, news is the longest side. So if you see, this is the hypotenuse. So this will be longest in this triangle. Okay, <clears throat> and the perpendicular will be shorter than this. Okay, similarly, this is again will be the hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse, hypotenuse, this is hypotenuse, this one is hypotenuse, this one is hypotenuse. And we have already proven, proven, in question number one okay so
So therefore, I can easily say PQ is the PQ is shorter shorter than that means or less than is less than P N one it is also less than P N two it is also less than P N three so this is a line segment so I don't have to take care of this side this side can be shorter it has got no meaning because I have to draw from a point outside the line. So I have to draw, take care of only these lines. Okay, so whenever it is, so this is a statement, it should be carefully noted. Statement. This statement, what it says, any distance. from any point outside 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 the line segment the perpendicular distance is the shortest the perpendicular distance is the shortest. The perpendicular distance is the shortest. Okay? So, this completes our uh, discussion uh, our discussion on exercise number 7.4